Hi kids, it's Miss Bethany again. It is craft time. And we are on day three, God is my provider. So today you're gonna hear a story more about Jesus talking to a woman at the well. And she's gonna talk about, what do you think? Water. You may have already seen the puppet show and there's a closing coming up that'll tell you more about the story too. But we're gonna just briefly talk about it. So Jesus talks to the woman at the well And as you'll learn, they're not somebody he would normally talk to. And she's saying, how can you give me water that doesn't make me thirst anymore? And what does Jesus say? He said, now this is written in what's called the King James. So sometimes the words are a little different, but it said, he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Another way to say it is he that believes in me shall never thirst. So what does that mean? Does that mean I don't ever have to be thirsty if I believe in Jesus and God? No. What it means is that God will always provide for us our needs. Now, does that mean that I'll get my new bike I want? No, because that's not really a need, is it? But God provides for us our needs. So today we are going to make a well and water to go in our well. So you'll notice that you have a brown piece of cardboard and then you also have a piece of a tablecloth, as weird as that sounds. But if you feel it, it's kind of like a vinyl feeling and it's going to be really cool in your well. So on here, what we're going to do is you have a couple options. Again, I like options with crafts. You can either cut this out as is and you can color it and fold it in half and cut out this gray area and make this your well. Or you can make a well out of the brown paper. So maybe you wanna put this on top of it so you have like a space idea and then you wanna kinda make your own well on the brown paper. You could make it as big as this piece of paper. You could do it hot dog style. You can do whatever you want. If you wanna get creative, you can even make it into a ring and do the rock pattern all the way around. This is your craft. You get to decide what it's gonna look like in the end, but you have some options. So like I said, if you're happy coloring it and cutting it and using this one, that is fine. If you wanna get more creative, you can use the brown, totally up to you. Now with our water droplets, you also have options. So you can color these with markers, crayons, you can use paint if you're allowed and have permission, but you can, Use these with the words on them just as they are. You can use them for this well, you can use them for the well you made, or you can use your vinyl. So you can actually glue it right on top of these if you'd like, and you could make it so they're blue and cut it out together and have the blue water droplets. You can make your own water droplets with these. Now, if you do it by itself, it is kind of thin, so you might wanna be careful, it might tear a little bit. It's tough fabric, but just be wary of that. So again, you get to make a well with your water. So you can make a well here, you can make a well here, you can make water here, you can make water here. Lots of options. And since there's so many options, I'd love to see what you come up with. I can only imagine the different things you guys are gonna come up with. You're so creative. We'd love for you to send us pictures. You can send them to us at peace at peacelutheran.net. You can ask your parents to send us to send them to us. We'd love to see them. Okay, I'm interested to see what more you learn today as you hear about how God is our provider. Thanks.